So I was thinking about it the other day, and I want to mention my observations about cursive. I learned how to write cursive in like first, second grade, somewhere in there, I don't know. And everyone in my class at the time were taught to write both in cursive and in normal print, and then more or less got to pick which one we continued to write in as we grew up. Obviously, we all picked print because cursive is hard to read and I can't remember what the letters look like or how to properly connect them and etc. But here's the thing about the human brain. It has these things called synapses that help make connections and retain information over time. And when you're a kid, you've got a ton of them. That's why they teach you to learn an instrument or a new language at such a young age in school. It's so your brain will call it better compared to if you tried to do those things as an adult. So since I learned cursive at a time when my synapse count was through the roof, I contain the skill even though I stopped regularly practicing it over a decade ago. Now whenever I have to write a signature or just decide to be fancy when writing lecture notes, and I flawlessly switch over to writing in cursive, I think, after all these years, I still retain this great skill. I am more powerful than I realized. <laughs> yes, it's weird, but it's the truth. And also, B should never look like this. Get your act together, cursive.